Justin Bieber. Hashtag 2020. Now, we were so excited to hear new Justin Bieber. Well, at least I was. However, things are kind of rocky at this point <laughs> with this new album. We already heard three singles. Uh, I This is my first time, actually, talking about Justin Bieber's new songs, the teasers, uh, singles from this album. So I want to enlighten you with my own opinions about these songs. First of all, 2015. Let's go back to 2015. Purpose came out, fantastic album, really great uh, pop album, which is still uh, is in Pop Essentials catalog. Justin Bieber dropped Sorry, what do you mean? Really good songs. And basically what I'm trying to say is I really love Justin Bieber's music actually. Uh, he has done a lot of great music in the past, not only with Purpose Era, but before that as well. This man uh, was doing a lot of great, great songs uh, and great collaborations. I actually wanted to, I, I didn't identify with him. I wanted to have Justin Bieber's life. At that time, he was dating Selena Gomez, the, the girl I always adored. Um, not really right now, to be honest. The hype was, is kind of over for me at this point. Uh, but back in the day, yes, yeah, Selena Gomez was like a dream girl for me. Uh, he, she, he was dating her. He was creating music that I'm into, like pop, hip hop, uh, and uh, dance, electronic music. And also he, uh, you know he has he has that lifestyle. He had he has that like, dream lifestyle, creating music and being rich, uh, and you know get to have it all. It, it sucks for me to tell you <laughs> that I, I'm I was so excited about this album. I, it sucks like this so, three songs are not that good, uh, but they're not terrible as people are making it out to be. To be honest with you, Yami, for example when it came out actually that it's not that bad it's it follows the formula of 2015 yes um, and it tries to be on that wave and we we just as a music consumers who are in 2020 at this point we are expecting more from Justin and that is why those expectations sort of ruin it for us the enjoyment because we we hope that Justin will grow at this point but he's doing the same thing from 2015 but at the same time if he did it well I feel like the it would we wouldn't be criticizing it so much uh, but since Yami is not even on the level of sorry and what do you mean his uh, iconic songs it flops for us. Uh, Yami though, it's not a bad, it's not that bad of a song in my opinion. It, it kind of, uh, it was not that bad, but then I've I've heard criticism about it instead of, I sort of stopped listening to it and then I started listening to it again kind of grew on me and it's not that bad. I kind of can't vibe with it, no, not gonna lie. Um, then the other song with Kelani, it had potential, it started really cool, but it ended there. Like it didn't grow to be something uh, great. It just stayed on its lane, like average level. Uh, and there's no intention songs, bro. Eh, hey, no intentions. <laughs> uh, good intentions. <laughs> no intention. Well, they don't have no. They don't have any intentions to make it good. You know, what I'm saying that that song is not good. It does. It just doesn't sound good. While the movie, movie. Uh, sorry, the music video was sort of. Oh wow! Like, but it, it has done, it has been done before. Drake with God's plan, he already donated uh, to people randomly like that. Uh, it is definitely still. Um, it's nice when people do it. It's just I feel like with Justin, it, it was kind of a little bit, just a little bit, not authentic, not um, that sincere. It didn't feel that sincere or emotional. I don't know. It just didn't feel that. It just didn't grab me that way as God plan. For example did back in the day like i was hyped uh, i was impressed with drake i was uh, really i was like damn yes drake is doing a good thing here more people should do it like that but when justin Bieber did it it's like why are you doing it <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's uh, it... anyway let's listen to the 17 songs at this point i i just hope i'm not even hoping for a good album at this point it still can be but i'm just hoping that we will get at least a couple songs that will be on a really good level, that will be memorable, that will stick with us uh, throughout the years, just like uh, the songs I mentioned earlier did. That's all I want to get out of this project. 
Changes by Justin Bieber. Let's go. Track one, All Around Me. I like having someone for ya. Okay, okay. Promising start. I need you all around me. Wouldn't wanna be in any other place. Never thought I could ever be loyal. Oh. Someone. Huh. Anything's possible since you've been my heart melt. Give me the best thing that I've ever been told. A place. Okay. From my home to the road, I'll make sure you come. I know, I'm just still excited that it's actually pretty good, pretty nice, a uh, good touching moment and he's talking about Haley Baldwin, how uh, he couldn't imagine himself doing these things, being a romantic lover, being a loyal person to somebody uh, like that, uh, but it is now possible because he loves Haley Baldwin so much, so that's the gist of the song. Alright, alright. Okay, child. Okay, Justin is. So Justin is open to a, an idea to have kids. I, I mean, I didn't know that before. That's pretty dope. That's pretty nice. Habitual track too. I'm kind of getting my excitement back with <laughs> this album. It might be as bad as I thought it will be. I feel like uh, this song is perfectly made for like streaming services. This song completely can like sort of slide into various playlists for the background. You know, like I was when I was listening to the song, it's super chill beat. Um, I was imagining like Spotify, for example, where uh, people like for example students are just doing their homework and this uh, chill nice sort of background music is playing uh while they're doing their homework you know it's like it's just situations like this settings like this like this this song habitual makes perfect sense and it will adapt to that vibe uh, to that setting it will give sort of cool experience and people will going to be playing to it and not only because they are choosing to play exactly this song, but because it fits to various different playlists on Spotify or on Apple Music, and it's just gonna be on the background in a lot of places, I feel like. Uh, but again, but the song is actually pretty nice for what it is. I, uh, I like just slow uh, tempo, chill, nice songs like this. Uh, Justin's performance was pretty nice. His voice was cool. Uh, the beat was really good, actually. Relaxing. I, I want to listen to it again, for example. Um, so far, two for two, honestly. So I like it so far. Track three, Come Around Me. Oh, okay, yeah. We heard this on the trailer. On an album trailer. Mm, mm, come on. Right, right, yeah, right. I'm an unnecessary hyper man <laughs> for these songs for some reason. It does not even need the hype. It's aiming for a different direction. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, this one felt a little bit repetitive, just a little bit, but still, um, it's cool, it's cool. The lyrics are really simple, very simple, and they don't, they don't amuse me at all. I wish Justin's team, not only, because his performance and the beats are fine, but I feel like lyrically, it, it could have been more witty, and that could have enhanced this album. But the vibe he's going in, it's, it's pretty good. Track 4, Intentions, featuring Quavo. I um, actually don't really want to listen to this song, but fine, let's do it. Picture perfect, you don't need no filter. But of course it makes perfect sense in the album, though. Like, 
the beat is really similar to what we heard already. But these parts are it's just a little bit boring, to be honest. Track 5, Yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why, but I'm ashamed that I like this song. I don't know why, though. Is it 50 loud the way you split it? <laughs> Track 6, available. It's alright. Okay, this one um, wasn't interesting to be honest. While it was not really different than uh, the other songs, maybe that's one of the issues actually that it was not different than the other songs at all. He has cornered, cornered himself into this one sound, like more sort of relaxed, chill, but more like lo fi sort of beats, kind of like uh, trap influenced lo fi beats, and he's vocalizing on it, right? And giving us sort of love related cheesy lyrics like I, I i was just hoping that we will get something different as well throughout the album a little bit i was hoping for that but so far it's like it sounds like purpose leftovers that's what it sounds like because purpose also had similar vibe when it comes to beats but uh, the the songwriting was a little bit more interesting the the melodies were more compelling and more unique at that time as well in 2015 and more interesting more uh, tasteful this one's uh, like they're trying to capture that sound but it's not able to capture it that well in 2020 at this point and the sad thing is you don't even need to capture it in 2020 because it's already 2020 you know say so you need to capture something else you need to create something else justin but i feel like justin felt safe to explore the sound the purpose sound a little bit further because people really liked purpose that was his best acclaimed album that uh, thus far uh, it will be safe because he assumed that people like, will like it again but uh, <laughs> people are interesting creatures you know you cannot keep feeding the same meal over and over again if they like it, even if they like it like for example if you're uh, so, like if you're uh, in uh, marriage you're a husband you come you come home uh, well assume we're assuming it's a traditional family a woman like uh, prepare the meal for dinner daddy comes from work to home and then she gives him, uh, let's say, spaghetti, uh, really delicious uh, Bolognese spaghetti on Monday. He loves it. Uh, he says it's his favorite meal. And then the wife goes on, on Tuesday, she also gives him spaghetti. On Wednesday, she also gives him spaghetti. And the, the guy says, oh, nice, thank you. Uh, but not so excited at this point. The whole week goes and then like on Sunday, the the guy, he's like, I'm tired of eating spaghetti. I don't like spaghetti anymore. <laughs> like, give me something else. But babe, I thought you loved spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? That's so. That's a similar situation here, Justin. Like, with purpose, we loved purpose, but we need to move on. It's been five years. Last point I want to make, though, I feel like it could work for him capturing the purpose sound, if it was still refreshing if he took that sound and just enhanced it in a better way but since he took it and made it a little bit worse it feels trash and really average you know what I'm saying that's why I, I said it's purpose leftovers but if he brought back the the magic we loved with purpose uh and just presented it in a in a different way and uh, we i feel like we would have uh, eat that uh, material with pleasure. Justin Bieber, track seven, Forever featuring Post Malone and Clever. Maybe now something else happens. Because Post Malone is there. Oh, I know this track. Yeah, we, I've heard it on trailer. Could you 
And this is clever. He also sounds like Post Malone for some reason. <laughs> Running over featuring Lil Dicky. <laughs> again, again, a similar beat. What? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Justin, like, why? You, uh, even Purpose had its own different moments, different songs. You had. Uh, well, okay, you have Travis Scott collaborations here as well, uh, but like the the beats were different. Like every song was at least in a different realm. Here it's like same song. It's just dupli it's duplicating itself. Couple tweaks here and there on the beat, and that's it. I just feel like <laughs> all right. I just feel like he as a musician like you have whole full length album 17 songs right you have 17 opportunities to create something new to to explore some really cool sounds maybe i don't know if you like rock for example you can go uh, make pop rock or something i don't know you like you like you obviously like rap justin you can go and create some rap collaborations like you did before and it worked for you Maria I'm drunk Travis Scott Rodeo excuse me Chance the Rapper Duke Jam like I you know you've done that before like you you could do that here too like again like having some fun have hype on this album be actually enthusiastic about it but it's like a sleeper album it's like sleeping we like Justin is like doing it because it's time to do it you know I don't I don't feel he's excited making this music and he's just trying to like get this album out of the way pretty much get this album give give it to the fans because they want it he was living his life he was enjoying his life with his wife and all of a sudden like label called him hey Justin like we need a new album he's like oh okay okay fine I'll give it to you something you know what I'm saying it's like that approach attitude I feel like Justin had with this album uh, of course I'm wrong because Justin uh, does care about his music but it just feels like that because it's not creative <laughs> skin routine like that's what i wanted to know right no that's a no-no for me lyrically it was not appealing at all trash lyrics uh this the beat was also like when we already heard seven times already yeah bro uh track nine take it out on me okay interesting title though do i hear something different finally <laughs> Okay, some more trap finally in the game. Okay, okay. We're back in this business. Okay, um, it's better. Uh, lyrically, it is something new at least, new topic. I mean, okay. It's the same topic, love, but it's from. It comes from a different angle. It's talking about how you know about frustrating times and like how a girl gets mad at you and like starts to lash out on you, like and you as a guy sometimes like, okay, here, here, here. Well, I I'm here to help. Like I'm actually here to help. Like no, I'm not a villain. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm actually here to support you. And Justin s says that oh, it's okay. Like you can take it out on me if you feel like it. If you feel bad. After you're done though, <laughs> after you will be normal again, we can talk about it more productively. Track 10, Second Emotion featuring Travis Scott. Let's see what happens here. Travis, come on. Come here, please save the track, please. Oh, 
That was a weird verse, bro. That was one of the. <laughs> this is probably the first time when Travis Scott sounded not good at all. Whew. Wow, um, I'm not vibing with this. It's super generic, super generic, so not interesting. I can't believe how how bland it is. It's like, and again, like at the beginning, I was like, <laughs> my forehead because damn, it's like again that production, the same beat again. Say like we heard it. Come on, like we, what about the other kinds of interesting productions? Can you offer to me, Justin? And he's gonna be calling it. Wow, this album is actually very cohesive. Just because the sound is so similar all the time, all the way through. Just but that's not cohesion. It's cohesion when you lyrically can uh, able to tell a story. From beginning till the end, like it has, have a beginning, have a culmination, have an ending. You can bring to that narrative all different kinds of sound. When when the narrative, you know, is sad, you need to bring sadness into the track. You give pianos or very moody um, atmosphere on something more vibrant, something more happy. You you give different kind of production and you spice it up that way the album but if this beat was so amazing i at least i could have understand that but it's so generic and this type of beat is on the same on the fucking like almost every track except for take it out on me i guess get me featuring kelani at least this one is a little bit different Track 12, ETA, I don't know what it means. Oh, I just want to make one correction. I, since I heard the guitar right now, I realized I remember that track one all around me was actually also uh, on guitar acoustic manner uh, track. So um, I guess not every single track follows the same formula, you know what I'm saying? So take it on. Take it out on me and all around me and get me as well are pretty different than uh, other songs but uh, yeah other songs are really really similar to each other the track uh 12 eta a uh, different direction let's hear it You see a change, changes named of the album. Finally, we have seen some change. It's good. It's good. It's not a playlist worthy song, but it was good. You know what I'm saying? While, while it was on, it sounded good. Uh, and Justin, I mean, Justin, when it comes to vocally, there's no problem. I'm not bashing on his singing at all because his singing is good. I like his singing. I like the way he sings. Um, it's just, yeah, the other problems I was talking about earlier, that's the issue for me with this album. Um, but track 14, confirmation. Okay. Okay. One more time. Okay, <laughs> it's weird, it's repeating the same thing. I don't know why though. <laughs> I like this so far. I think for some reason this is one of my favorites so far. Mm. Oh, and the piano in the background. That's good. I don't know why exactly this tra track, but um, this ex this was a soothing experience. This was a nice experience, really 
cool vibe um and i like the lyrics as well how you know let's instead of rushing over something all the time you know like how life our life is so fast-paced just take a moment and relax you know babe come here let's cherish this moment together what matters the most is this moment right now instead of chasing something like actually let's enjoy this moment and uh yeah i like it i like it and uh, it reminds me of the essential justin bieber the justin bieber i love uh, justin bieber his vocal presence was really good his harmonizations uh, his falsettos is really really good yeah i mean and the music the the sound i mean the the beat I, at this point it was not a beat it was more a melody the melody was really nice i really enjoyed it track 15 that's what love is oh, i haven't touched you yeah that's what love is oh that's what true love is when we shower shine together yeah that's what love is Okay, cool, nice, nice, nice. It's it's different, you know what I'm saying? At least it's different, thank God. Uh, um, and um, it is good. Track 16, at least for now. Last song, to be honest, because we are not listening to that Summer Walker remix. And no shade to Summer Walker, I'm just saying I already heard it. And it's, I mean, it's still yummy, it's the same track. So, track 16, at least for now, is gonna be the last song. I'm concerned when you look at my face You're excited for no reason This is a good track This is a good track I take this car from wrapping around my neck Loosen up my tie Couldn't you do this earlier a little bit, Justin? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> the album is called Changes and you decided to change only in the last three songs? Really, bro? Like, <laughs> Justin, like... Uh, uh, the, the the sound you were bringing in at the beginning was fine but like you stick with it too for too long on the album for 10 songs for no reason why are we hearing change on the second half of the album well d uh, deeper in the second half of the album right from track 11 to, seven, to 16 this 5 songs Poor five songs we're getting well six actually six songs like why are they different uh, to the, that style that you've been exploring so much in the first 10 songs i don't get it why the first half of this is purpose leftovers and then the second half is like you're trying trying to bring in something new to the table i i just don't get it why you couldn't do it for the whole album uh you know and from those purpose leftovers keep you know only the most successful ones like okay let's say yummy uh, all around me and um i don't know forever was pretty nice okay um well heavy chill come around me was all right too but uh yeah like but you have to pick like two three and move on to something else anyway um i don't know i don't know what's happening bro. <laughs> Okay, uh, nice ending to the album, and actually, I don't know why she decided to add that Summer Walker remix, bro. It, it completely ruins that ending you created for yourself on track 16. But um, yeah, I mean, last last few songs were good, actually. There are songs that I'm interested, uh, in, interested in coming back and see if they grow on me, and I hope they do, because I, I still, I want to like uh, this album I wanna uh, listen to Justin Bieber because it's been so long that we haven't gotten anything from this man when it comes to his solo stuff that I, I miss him a lot I miss his great music but unfortunately we didn't get a great music this time I hope you personally the person that is watching right now this video um, if you made it thus far I hope you do like it though because I wish the best for Justin Bieber and I it, like 
it it will suck for you too if you will not like this album because well i'm assuming that if you're here that you like justin bieber's music but it's gonna for me it's gonna suck because i don't think i'm liking this album that much this album is not bad but it's just so so average that not many things stand out but because it's justin bieber i can forgive uh, i can forgive forgivable songs and still listen to him um, on a little bit better tracks like Fibicho for example or All Around Me or um, you know something from the end of the album you know I listened to this album a couple more times and I gotta say I actually changed my mind on changes um, originally I gave it 4 out of 10 but now I'm feeling more 6 out of 10 towards this album I feel like there's just a couple of songs that are not doing it for me. For example, Running Over featuring Lil Dicky or Second Emotion featuring Travis Scott. These are, or and Intentions featuring Quavo. Um, this is like three songs that are like not it for me. I don't like them. But other tracks, I like them uh, either a lot or at least a little bit. What's interesting in such a short time, uh, changes grew on me already. And... Uh, Instead of acting on that first reaction, we we must give ourselves more time sometimes in order to fully appreciate and vibe with the album. There are numerous of albums and songs that uh, I didn't like at the first listen, but I did like. And I feel like you know with Justin Bieber, it's, it's, that's the case. And I and I'm really glad. And I was as I was saying, uh, I w I wanted to like this album, and I'm really happy that actually. Um, now I'm realizing like what I was saying was was total bullshit. Like uh, I actually, I here for Justin Bieber. That means I'm here wanting similar songs like Purpose, not something else, but just more in a more refreshing way. That as I was talking about, yeah, just give us you, give us Justin Bieber songs. You know, songs that feel like Justin Bieber but just with new rap on it, if it makes sense. And I feel like he, he he's actually giving us that. He is tapping on something familiar with the sound, and yet with lyrics, he is going to different things. Um, and um, yeah, and I, I like it. I actually like it. It's just more calm, more relaxed listen, more chill rather than more because purpose was more a beat and i like to dance to that album but this one is just more hey like sit down let's just have a good time listening to it like this <laughs> which is also cool but i still think that what i'm gonna say next is applicable uh that was just sort of my take uh on what justin bieber should do next artistically and short thing is collaborate with new producers please and with new artists to get new ideas to evolve even uh, better it's to evolve to uh, the best that you can be justin i hope justin from now on will try to come up with something new i hope he he has all the money in the world and connections in the music industry he can collaborate with anyone he wishes he can get producers that people are dreaming of getting. Mike Dean. Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? Metro Boomin. I know these are hip-hop producers, but like Kenny Beats. Um, if you want to create something relevant and rel like right now hip-hop is relevant, go out and do that. You know, collaborate with these people. I know you like rap music. If you want to explore yourself in that, do that. You know what I'm saying? Do something new. Explore yourself. Jack Antonoff uh, from Pop. Jack Antonoff. Uh, hell, like, contact Phineas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Contact Phineas. Billie Eilish. And, you know, her family will be happy to have you on board. Will be happy to collaborate with you. Not your weird bad guy remix but actually being in studio together or not even in the studio they can invite you to your to their house in la 
you guys can just have a good time and collaborate, do something fun together. And um, Billie Eilish and Justin Bieber collaboration, like on the actual new song, not on the remix, will be a good idea for you, Justin. You, you, you see what I'm saying? You performed on Ariana Grande's concert. And so I'm assuming you have somewhat good relationship with Ariana Grande. You can collaborate with Ariana Grande. You can do so many things. And you, when, you, when you do end up doing those things, it always works out for the best. And those risks you were taking with Skrillex and Diplo, uh, that was a risk. Because, like collaborating with huge EDM artists because that was not something you did before that much at least but um, you did it and you did it really well or you collaborated with GJ Snake that worked out really amazingly you collaborated with even Dan and Shay last year uh, it worked out for you amazingly although I, I'm not really a fan of that song but it's, it's not a bad song it's a country song though and I, I, I'm not a fan of country but you know you see what I'm saying like you can do so many things and you, you, like Despacito bro Despacito you are on the biggest track of the history of music. So just go out there, collaborate with more people, not only when it comes to being a feature, but also on your solo pro projects with new producers that uh, you know maybe you haven't had a chance to collaborate with. So that's my advice. Um, but um, at the same time, I mean, who am I and who is Justin Bieber? But with my knowledge and from outside point I'm seeing like this is all I can give um, and we're gonna edit at that thank you so much for watching this video what do you think about this new Justin Bieber album do you like it do you hate it you, you are okay with it uh, let me know in the comments below patreon I have a new patreon page please uh, support me if you can uh, if you're willing to do so I really will be grateful that will be amazing there is a special music club that i launched and i hope people will be on board and we can have our own com great community uh in patreon so go ahead and check it out link in the description box for patreon thank you so much uh have a good night